Hi, I'm Andy Walker, one of the producers at Loop. And today I want to talk about how to export your tracks when you're done with a production. So you can upload them to Loop Community and use them in your live productions. So let's get started. First, I want to make sure that I have everything in this section. So I've clicked cues and everything labeled correctly. So as you can see here, I labeled it with the tempo, the key, and then the name of the instrument. Then, to make it very quick for export, I use something called track stacks. Track stacks allow you to consolidate individual instruments into one folder that will then export as this file. So here is something that's not consolidated yet. So you'll right click, create track stack, and then you wanna do summing stack. And so I done this before, so it was named electric one. And so summing stack, everything is in it's one single consolidated folder. So as you can see, I have a lot of them here because we have a maximum of 18 stems, including click and cue. So you really have 16 instruments. So you can't have every single loop part. You can't have every single, um, you know, right here I have two different synth bass sounds, but I consolidate into one. So I have this all labeled here. Next, what you want to do is mute the click and cues, play the whole track and make sure it's not peaking. So here, It's getting close, but it's not actually getting to zero. So you wanna make sure it's not peaking. Once you've checked that, you wanna unmute the clicking cues, set your transport bar to where you wanna export it to make sure that you have plenty of tail at the end. Then you go to File, Export, All Tracks as Audio Files, and we'll just do this on the desktop. So we'll call this Better Word 73 E flat MT. Create, include volume pan automation, turn off normalize, change bit depth to 16, and then hit export. So now that your tracks are exported, let's go here and as you can see, it exported a lot of stuff. So let's just delete the tracks that we don't need. Logic always adds a little minus one to the end, so we'll remove that. So once you removed all the ones, compress it, and you're ready to get it uploaded onto Loop Community. So that's how you export your tracks in Logic. Definitely recommend following these instructions to get your tracks exported quickly and cleanly.